Okay, so I still don't know what car I'm gonna drive, but I at least have a vague idea of what the competition is gonna be like. I have a few options here. Oh, By a few, I mean not many. <laughs> Thanks for the host, bud. Uh, actually, oh yeah, that's right. This is the fake four-wheel drive car. Um, I think I'm gonna use the Evo Five for this that I got from a uh, finishing beginner league. So, let's go with that. Um, and yeah, <laughs> thank you for the host. Alright, we're gonna need tires. Because of the tire wear. Sport tires. Because this is four-wheel drive, the fronts are gonna get worked hard. But I'm gonna start off with the sport tires and hope for the best. Then I'm not sure if I need to do any power upgrades. I probably do. But uh, I'm just going to do the oil change now, and then we'll just uh, go from there. So. So, yeah. So we're pushing 322 horsepower. Not bad. Do I want to keep the stock rims on it? Answer. Eh. I don't know why. I really like these rims. Maybe it's because I reason why I bought them. Anyways, let's see how this goes. Let's go to the Amateur League. And our next series of races in the Amateur League is the four-wheel drive challenge. We're starting at Super Speedway, which is going to be interesting. So. Fucking ripped right side tires, that's for sure. Here we go. Let's uh, put a little more, a little more kick in my stick. Uh, might have to do stage two turbo here. That Celica is fast. So we're gonna have to go stage two turbo on this. 394 horsepower. Boom. Ooh, we can put an intercooler on this. Kinda want to, but at the same time I don't. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do for now. If I need more power later, I can just slap an intercooler on this. So uh, let's go back to Super Speedway and try this again. And before the Celica doesn't show up. Two. Super or Speedway. Celica's on pole. All right. Evo Four in here. Rez is back. Skyline's back. S Four is back. No, uh, no Audi though. Okay. Here we go. Step number two. Five laps of Super Speedway. Evo just smashed into the Celica. I love the freaking AI on some grid stars because they just immediately try to go to the racing line. It would be interesting, Austin, but there also wouldn't be many tracks who could do that. There we go. Now that I have the speed to keep up. Also, the, where's the Celica? <laughs> Celica got shuffled back to last, holy shit. Alright. Go watch Donut Media, sure don't. I didn't even know Donut Media existed until, like, you know, they started being part of the Dirt 5 hype. Since they're, like, in the game. I could have not have seen Grosjean's perfect crash. Yeah, I'm just glad he only suffered some burns. All I'm gonna say is if the anti-Halo morons had their way, Grosjean would be not alive right now. He totally just appeared out of the flames, I know, right? Dude, that one photo someone took of him, like, scaling the arm co or, like, climbing over the arm co through the fire. Oh, amazing photo. Alright, I think I might have... I probably could have gone away with the stage one turbo. Now I'm kicking their ass. Oh, the Halo haters won't shut up, but, you know. This was the best, uh...
like the best showcase of how good of an idea implementing the Halo is. Have the car split in half. Apparently, it's designed to do that to uh, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu, try to take away some of the force impact force off the driver. Like, everything basically did its job except for the fuel cell. The only thing that went wrong in that crash was the fuel cell got, uh, compromised. And that's why it went up in flames. Yeah, it's spectacular to see the car just split itself in half, but it's also, like, by design. Chicken thighs. Dude, I'm always craving thighs at 3.30 a.m. Wink wonk. Partial failure, yeah. But still. That was just a partial failure and you saw the giant inferno that happened. Alright, this went a lot more smooth with the turbo. <laughs> In fact, maybe a little too smooth. Oh well. We'll see how this performs on the actual, like, road courses. Super Speedway is always the easiest race. Beat Celica by almost two seconds. And the Evo 4 finished last. First and last for Evo. Let's go. And then that 5,000 credit. And let's move on to race number two. That's at Apricot Hill Raceway. Two. Two, 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 two. Now let's see how we are versus the competition. And there is no Celica in this field. Okay. So we have the Impreza Sport Wagon, the Audi TT, which will get destroyed off the launch. We do have a 3000 GT, though. That might be quick. So much with multiple buttons. <laughs> Here we go. Five laps at the hill. Oh god, the, the poor TT. It's front-wheel drive launch. Okay. I'm on sport tires. I do not have racing slicks. Boy, shit. Championships. This is the amateur full wheel drive. You know, I'm going to blame the fact that I just got done driving a, uh, a Gen 4 NASCAR and in iRacing for an hour or two. Daytona. Uh, probably the only thing I'll do with Dirt to Daytona is do championships for the second channel. Uh, I actually don't know who took Rojan's seat. Because the big story was, uh, you know, George Russell. Oh, it's Fittipaldi. So, I might need to go with Slicks. As a... Ooh. Look, I don't sing any praises about myself ever, but I will say that I still have the best Dirt to Daytona LP on YouTube, and forever will. Even though it was like 2013, my god, my content was horrible up until like 2019.
Oh, actually, we might, we might be good here. Slid around the Impreza. I think if the uh, the Celico was here, I definitely would not have a chance at winning. Alright. See, what the Ham haters don't understand is once Hamilton's gone, another driver is going to take his place as the dominant driver in F1. Just like Hamilton replaced Vettel, just like Vettel replaced Schumacher, and just like Schumacher replaced like in Senna and Prost. Oh yeah. I haven't seen anything about it. Why? The only thing I've seen about Cup in 2022 is the Gen 7 car. I guess we'll see what happens when the uh, the new cars roll out in 22, or the new regulations. <coughs> Excuse me. Streaming tonight. I'm just glad I was able to stream tonight because you know I don't have to work tonight. Eh, not too overkill. Again, I don't think I would be leading the race right now if the uh, the Celica was in here. Also, the I apparently overestimated the abilities of the uh, 3000 GT. I highly doubt that, Panda. Uh, I think the playoffs are going to be here to stay, <laughs> unfortunately. Tis the season. Yeah. Tis the season for capitalism. Dude, I'm just kind of excited for the 2021 race schedule for Cup. Because, like, Dirt Bristol, Coda, Road America, a lot of. Um, apparently Daytona Road Course is going to replace uh, California at the beginning of the season. Because I think California is doing like a big COVID lockdown or something. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Yeah, Chase Elliott's basically guaranteed at least six wins next year. Because <laughs> that's how many... Well, seven wins, actually, now, because of Daytona. Break lockdown. Interesting. Oh. Hello, Skyline. Oh, my right left... <laughs> No wonder my left front is a uh, very worn tire wear, by the way. Oh my god, they take this chicane so slow. So when does Chase Elliott get the Lewis Hamilton treatment? He wins all the road courses, therefore uh, everyone hates him because he always wins. So that's usually what happens. It's like, er, this person is too good. The humbug. Uh, 
know who stayed behind. My tires are fucking... My left front is dead. I ha I cannot turn this car right anymore. <laughs> I can barely turn the car left. I will try the last race on the sport tires, but I might have to go to slicks. Oh no, get back on the track. Okay, we're good. I should have enough power to hold off the R32 without blocking. Yeah, we good? Okay. Quick by a win. By just under half a second. Impress a wagon taking third. And poor Audi TT. The the false full wheel drive car. Oh, hi, uh, Husky. Damn, 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 damn. Ah, he wins. Yeah. I'm gonna save the replay of this race. X2010 most OP car in Gran Turismo. I mean, it was designed that way. Yeah, uh, I feel it. Anyways, race three, Grand Valley. Let's see if I can win on sport tires. No Celica again, so there is a chance. I'm in with a shot. I think the Tomahawk... Oh, shit. Howdy. I think the Tomahawk is only faster on, like, tracks with higher downforce turns. Because it doesn't have the fan downforce, so, like... If it has to rely on mechanical grip, it's not nearly as quick as the uh, Red Bull. How cooked through the front's gonna be? Very. Gonna go three wide into the hairpin. Uh, give me room. <laughs> Doesn't the Tomahawk have like 2,500 horsepower or something ridiculous like that? Wobble weeba. Oh, get out of the way, other Audi. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Fake horse. Oh. Alright, I have the lead now, just gotta hold it for four plus laps. My tires slowly die. Look, super crazy fast OP cars are cool and all, but have you ever driven the uh, the the Daihatsu Copen VGT? It doesn't drive all that great, but goddamn, it's a great looking car. It's 
hilarious. Dude, I'm kind of upset that I actually kind of want to get the ninth gen consoles like sooner rather than later. It's because of the licensed games and also the fact that the uh, like back and pat on the Xbox Series X is apparently really fucking good. I'm still waiting. At least, like, a while. Like, a year. But. You know. Here's my bus. I gotta get the consoles at least for my physical game collection. Also, thank you for that five bucks, Husky. I can pick any card we add as premium card in GT7. I mean, any car whatsoever, what would it be? I don't know. Not a clue. There's too many cars, and I just, I don't have it, I'm not really picky about my cars, like, just give me some fun to drive cars, some silly cars, some old cars, some new cars, some slow cars, some fast cars, small cars, big cars, car cars, some weird experimental shit. I'm, I'm a simple man. Like, a car list is, doesn't really, like, affect my opinion on a game. At least not nearly too as much as other people. Like, as long as the game is fun and it has some fun to drive cars that are also, you know, either aesthetically pleasing, unironically, or we can have fun making fun of how silly it looks, like... I'm game. Oh, Christ, the Marka. Dude, I... I, I don't care. I... I wouldn't be upset if... There were zero, well actually I would be upset if there were zero Vipers in the new GT, but it wouldn't, like, it wouldn't change my opinion on the game in any way. It'd be one of those, oh no, anyways. Honestly, I think one one thing that I enjoy about GT's car list are like the more obscure, well, maybe not obscure, but the more just mundane, everyday cars. I like seeing those in the game. Just because racing games are usually about like cool sports cars and supercars and hypercars, yeah. It's like, what about what about the uh, you know the the layperson car? What about the what about the uh, the junkyard dailies? Those are cool too. Chevy Astro van, yes. All right, this is going a lot better than I expected, but uh, we're entering the danger zone in terms of tires. Also, the S4 is still in second. Okay. Actually, the S4 is comfortably in second. Two thousand one Chevy Highlander. Tonight on Gear Cars. Dude, name any other game. Any game that isn't GT2 that lets you drive a car, a real life car that is unironically named Sunny. I'll wait. A <laughs> rough. Prelude sedan. I think the Sunny's in this game. I think it was only in GT2. Oh, there's a Sunny truck? 
hold the fuck the phone. Okay, well, uh, I've I've been destroyed. All right. Yes, the front left is warm. <laughs> Let's just say this final lap is going to be interesting. Hi, Junior. I should play TXR Drift 2 at some point. I have it. Has never actually played it. Oh no, tire dead. Stay out, Lewis. Okay. I didn't ask for your input, cat. Wow. Oh, I'm not going to be drifting. I'm going to be understeering. Of course I have. I have 100% at all the main numbered GTs before. Or I could just, you know, pop the game in my PS2, but eh, not today. Alright, the good thing about the fact that my tires are gone are the Audi's tires are gone as well, so it's not really gaining on me. Although I don't think the Audi's tires are as gone as mine. They're both cooked, both front tires. Keeping a one second gap on the Audi, though. I mean, I've done other Let's Play marathons, I just haven't named it that. You probably call this a uh, GT revisit, a. Uh, marathon of sorts. I haven't LP'd anything else. Alright. Just made it. Yeah! That was five seconds off the pace. Holy shit. Oh, hello. Greetings, Audi. Maybe one of the prize cars, Karu. Don't remember. I'd rather. I'll. I'll rather find out as we do that race. All right. Well, that went better than expected. So, what are we gonna win? Another Evo? No, we get a. Yes, we get another Evo. You get an Evo, and you get an Evo, and you get, you get another Evo, and you get another Evo. All the Evos. Oh well, I win. So we got the Evo 7 this time. So we have the 4, 5, and now we have the Evo 7. And champagne gold. Thank you for the additional five dollars, Husky. Uh, from GT2, G7, the original cars, GT. Yeah. Why can't I hold all these? All right. Well, that was a good start to tonight, and we're now at twenty-nine point three percent complete. We're almost at one third. Woo.